Hello everyone, welcome to the channel where we are discussing Terraform in detail. In our previous episode, we have discussed about the Terraform configurations in detail and a little bit about the Terraform providers. Here in this episode, we'll continue our discussion on the Terraform providers and this section we will discuss the providers in details. We'll get to know what all options we can define with the providers in case if you would like to provision the resources in the Azure RM. So we'll take an example of the Azure RM provider to be specific. So I am on to my GitHub repository where we are using so the entire which we are using for the demonstration in our entire series. So currently we are into episode number nine or the demonstration number nine. Here in this case, as I said, we'll be discuss more about the Azure RM providers as we wish to provision the resources in the Azure infrastructure in the Azure environment or Azure cloud environment. So as we know that in the Terraform configuration, first of all, we have to specify the Azure RM as the required provider with the version which we would like to use for that provider. Now, before we actually use this provider and start using the resources in our cloud environment, we have to let this Terraform configuration and Terraform provider know which Azure environment to connect because at the moment, if you look at this configuration, we don't have any information which this provider will use to connect to the cloud environment because these providers are nothing. These are just enablers to enable the connectivity between your Terraform configurations and your cloud environment. So we need to tell your provider know that when the Terraform configuration run, you have to go to this particular cloud environment. So we need to set up the authentication option for your cloud provider. And for that, Terraform has the provider block, which we can use to configure that. So let's use the provider block. As you can see that it is blocked as from the IntelliSense. You can see that this is a block. A provider block is used to specify a provider configurations, which we are going to specify now. Here, it automatically detects the name of your providers, which you have specified. So at the moment, I have keep the Azure RM provider name as default. But let's say if I change the name as primary, for example, and though I can change the name to anything, this naming convention doesn't accept any snake case character, which means you cannot have the underscores, but you can have the dashes. And that is the reason I'm using the dashes. So again, if I use the provider block again, this time it has detected the name as the Azure primary as the block. Now each provider has their own set of feature block. For example, in case of Azure provider, you have to have the feature block specified. So I need to specify the feature block. What this feature block tells your providers that there are some resources which requires the specific, specific or the special configuration. For example, we have the key vault resource in Azure, which you can use to specify the key vault configuration. For example, any key vault which we are using with this Terraform configuration using this provider what option we want to say. Do we want to enable purge protection, soft delete on destroy? We have option true and false. So that is what we can set. Similarly, there are other resources which are being added with the special provisioning feature as well. So all those provisioning features you can specify here in this feature block inside your provider. Okay, that's part number one. If I don't want it, I can keep it empty, but you have to have this particular feature block, even though you have to, even though you don't want to configure any resource with this special configuration, but you have to have the feature as an empty block. Otherwise you will get an error. Next property you have is the alias property, which you can set the alias to your provider. I can say that as a primary and this alias, I can use it 
to provision or to tag to my resources saying that all the resources which I would like to create on the Terraform configuration which are supposed to use this provider block would require to use this alias. I'll show you an example now. After that, you can specify the client ID secret to have the authentication. If you are not using it, let's say if you are running the Terraform code on local, then you can use the Azure CLI authentication as well. You can use the service principle authentication, but at least one type of authentication you need to have. Otherwise, your Terraform will not be able to interact with your cloud configuration. So for now, for this demonstration, I'll be specifying the service principle authentication. What all the different authentication options available? That is something which we can discuss in our upcoming episodes. I'm using these particular four attributes. One is the client ID, which is the service principle ID, service principle secret, then the Azure tenant in which I would like to connect, and then the subscription ID, which is my Azure subscription where I would like to provision the resources. Now I have defined the value of these attributes as in variable and variable values you can provide it as an environment variable or as in command line argument whatever UA you want to pass it you can you have to provide these values at the time of initialization or for this demonstration I have created the terraform.tf var file and I have specified all my four values though it is not recommended to specify these secret values in your terraform configuration I am just using this configuration here in the terraform.tfr just for the demonstration it's not recommended at all the recommendation is to use the environment variable or from the command line okay again i uh, again i'll repeat i will look into the authentication option in detail in our upcoming videos this is just to let you know that provider block requires a way of authenticating to your cloud environment that's the reason we are giving it here now it is also possible that I can use multiple provider block with the similar configuration which I'll be specifying before that let's look at how do you use this provider block now now once your provider block is ready okay you have you are good to use the resource block so resources are the key configuration which you use which relies on your provider to provision the resources in the, your Azure configuration. So for example, here I would like to provision the Azure resource group in my cloud environment, in my Azure environment. So I'm using a resource block and then I need to use the Azure RM provider. And that's the reason I'm using Azure RM, which is the name of my provider, which is here on the line number five. And then dash the type of resource which I need to provision for example I need to provision Azure resource group so I'm using the resource group as the key which is the key of the resource which we want to provision right this is the instance name in case if you would like to provision multiple instances that's the reason you have to give the instance name to your resource group again the resources is something which we will discuss in our upcoming videos but this is just to give you an idea RG spoke network We need to have this. We need to specify the properties to provision the resources. If I run the Terraform initialization command just to see if I am able to authenticate to the Azure environment, run Terraform init, and this has run successfully. So now, if I run the Terraform plan command, we are getting an error which says the insufficient feature block the feature block is required but wait we have specified the feature block but why we are getting this error the reason to get this error is because in our provider block we have specified a alias but we are not using this alias while defining the resource so what does it mean is that if you are defining or specifying the alias to your provider you have to use those alias to your provider so otherwise you, know, you can comment this out for example if I comment this out and now if I run the terraform plan again as you can see that the error is resolved and 
your Terraform plan says that it's going to create two resources, two resource group as per the plan. Now, the other way to resolve this error is you use the alias block, but when you define your resource block, you have to define which provider to use. As you can see that we have a provider block and you can use that, use this particular provider block, okay? Similarly, if I specify the same provider block here, and then I, if I run the plan, now my resource block will use the same provider which we have defined and the provider has already got the feature block. So it will understood that this is what the provider I need to use. As you can see, two resource groups and it's using the same provider. Now the special case when we are going to use or when uh, we might have a requirement to use these aliases. Let's say we would require to create hub into a different subscription and spoke into a different subscription, for example, okay? Now with that, I'll be specifying my hub subscription IDs, some other subscription IDs. Or maybe some other tenant as well right or maybe in the same tenant but a different subscription right and that is something i want to call it as the secondary okay i'll call this as azure rm only just to avoid the confusion because this is my provider block and here when we define the alias we'll define at define it as az primary and az secondary now we are going to create a resource group, one in the primary and other one in the secondary one, okay? So hub is in the primary subscription, primary tenant and the spoke in the secondary one, okay? Now if we do that and run the pro program, it will still work and still working because even though we are using two different provider configuration, one is with the primary or other one could be the secondary one, but still it's working. And this is a best example of using multiple provider blocks to provision your resources into your Azure environment, or it could be on two different environments, right? I hope you have found this useful and you got the idea how to use the provider and how these providers are actually works right if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video